As the small community of Roseburg continues to deal with the enormous tragedy, stories of heartache and heroism. Witnesses say Chris Mintz, an Army veteran, blocked the gunman's path as he opened fire on students. Mintz was shot multiple times. He was caring for people he didn't even know. And he was being responsible. He was taking responsibility for others' lives, and he really saved others' lives. More details are also emerging about the gunman who killed nine people. The Army confirmed that 26-year-old Chris Harper Mercer had enlisted in 2008, but flunked out of basic training. Before moving to Oregon a few years ago, Mercer grew up in Southern California, where some neighbors remembered him having a temper. He's a grown man, you know, he shouldn't be having a tantrum like a kid, so that's why I thought there was something, something was up. The ATF said Mercer had six guns with him at Umpqua Community College and seven more at his home, all purchased legally. We also were able to recover a flank jacket, uh, was recovered lying next to the rifle at the school. Uh, the jacket had steel plates along with five magazines. Mercer was said to be sympathetic to the predominantly Catholic Irish Republican Army, but was not religious. Witnesses say he asked some victims their religion before shooting them. At a news conference Friday, the governor spoke about the need to stem you, the tide of Freeman. mass shootings. And there is no single solution that will prevent every shooting, but we must and we will do better to prevent these types of senseless violence. This is a conversation that we will have, but today is not the day. One of Oregon's senators said a relative is among the dead. And I must say, it, I never thought it could possibly be that my family, my extended family, my cousins were directly affected. Uh, but as I said, this is a small town and everyone's affected. Of the nine wounded, at least two remain in serious condition. You know, it's a very challenging time for the staff. The, uh, the staff have been wonderful. They've, they've come together, they've risen up to, to, to meet the community need. Our worry is over the next few days and weeks, how do we continue to support our staff? The community college remained closed Friday as the investigation continues. Haven Daily, Associated Press, Roseburg, Oregon.